4x4 is such an interesting event because of how much a solver's time can vary despite aspects of the solve that are out of the control of a cuber. A top 4x4 solver's time can range by 2 to 3 seconds from abnormalities that occur in the solve. And because of these abnormalities, the current 4x4 world record of 16.79 seconds that Max Park set a year ago could actually be faster. The basic idea of solving a 4x4 is that the cuber solves the 4x4 into a 3x3, and then solves the 4x4 like a 3x3. Since a 4x4 has no fixed center, a cuber can possibly solve the 4x4 in a way that isn't where the centers usually belong. Half of the time, due to mathematical reasons, it cancels out, and the 4x4 can be solved like a normal 3x3. But the other half of the time, something occurs called parity. When a competitor reaches the final steps of their solve, that's when parity can occur. When solving the last layer of face, a solver can run into OLL parity. And when a solver reaches the final algorithm, they can run into PLL parity. If you look at Max Park's world record, he actually reaches a point in his last algorithm where he runs into PLL parity. This adds a half of a second to a second of his already super fast 4x4 solve. So despite the parity that occurred, Max Park was able to set a world record. Currently, he still holds a top first in the world for both single and average of 4x4. But it does make you wonder, how fast of a solve could Max Park have done if he didn't have parity?